challenging McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle, statistically the most dominant combat fighter ever built. Built as a response to the perceived threat of the Soviet MiG-25, the Eagle first took flight in 1972 and entered service in 1976. Over its nearly half-century tenure, the F-15 has amassed an air-to-air -air combat record of 104 kills to no losses. Designed as an air superiority fighter, the Eagle is built to dominate any airspace. Packing a pair of Pratt & Whitney F-100 afterburning turbofans, each outputting nearly 24,000 pounds of thrust, the Eagle possesses an impressive performance sheet. With a combined 48,000 pounds of thrust, the Eagle has a thrust-to-rate ratio greater than 1 to 1, the first fighter jet in history to do so. The engines allowed the jet to ascend to 30,000 feet in under a minute and fly twice the height of Mount Everest at two and a half times the speed of sound. This performance envelope has allowed the F-15 to become one of the most versatile fighter platforms ever built. In fact, in early 1975, the Air Force's F-15 Joint Test Force put an early pre-production model, Eagle, through extensive time to climb trials in order to demonstrate the new aircraft's speed, climb, and altitude capabilities. The final record set reached 30,000 meters or 98,425 feet in just under three and a half minutes. I've covered this fascinating F-15, named the Streak Eagle, in my first episode of No Power. Link up here. So go check it out. The F-15 speed and altitude capabilities also made it the perfect test platform for the Air Force's anti-satellite, or ASAT, missile program. On the 13th of September, 1985, Major Wilbert Doug Pearson strapped into F-15A 76-0084 and lifted off from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. Accelerating the Mach 1.22, Major Pearson pulled into a 3G zoom climb at a 65 degree angle, reaching 38,000 feet at just under Mach 1, the 2600-pound ASM-135 ASAT missile separated from the aircraft and the motor ignited. The missile's target? The failing P-78-1 Solwyn Orbital Solar Observatory at an altitude of 345 miles and moving at over 1500 miles an hour, destroying Solwyn would not be an easy feat. The asset climbed into the sky, locking onto the orbiting observatory. The missile's kinetic kill vehicle impacted and destroyed the orbiting satellite nearly 2,000 miles away. F-15A 76-0084 having reached into the heavens to slay a satellite, was nicknamed the Celestial Eagle. The F-15 has done it all. Dogfights in beyond visual range combat, ground attack with the F-15E Strike Eagle, the Celestial Eagle's anti-satellite mission, and the Streak Eagle setting multiple time to climb records. From the cosmos, to the sky, and the ground, nowhere is safe from the F-15 Eagle. The McDonnell Douglas F-15E Strike Eagle, one of the best multi-role fighter aircraft in the world today. Based on the dominant F-15 Eagle air superiority fighter, the Strike Eagle takes the highly capable F-15 platform and makes it a powerful air-to-ground strike aircraft. Capable of carrying nearly every air-to-ground munition in the US Air Force's inventory, the Strike Eagle can fight its way to a target, strike said target loiter over the combat area and return to base. Powered by a pair of Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW229 afterburning turbofans, putting out a combined 58,000 pounds of thrust and sporting two conformal fuel tanks allows the Strike Eagle to carry more fuel and armament than an air superiority Eagle, yet fly just as high and just as fast. One of the most impressive things about the Strike Eagle are those aforementioned fuel tanks. Designed to be low drag and hug the F-15E's airframe, each tank carries 750 gallons of fuel and holds weapons on short pylons. This allows the Strike Eagle to carry the most missiles and bombs of any Air Force fighter. In fact, the newest Strike Eagle variant, the F-15EX Eagle II, can carry as many as 22 air-to-air -air missiles utilizing amber or advanced missile and bomb ejection racks. Though the weight and drag would make this loadout 
Though impressive, very unlikely. In total, the Strike Eagle can carry upwards of 25,000 pounds of weapons, while the Eagle II can haul 30,000 pounds. A single Strike Eagle could deploy four AIM-120 AMRAMs and 20 GBU-53 Stormbreakers. Another big advantage the F-15E possesses is that it's a two-seater. Having a pilot and weapon systems officer, or WIZO, allows better flexibility and situational awareness by dividing and conquering complex tasks. For example, the pilot can navigate and engage aerial targets while the WIZO performs electronic warfare tasks and search for potential ground-based threats. Packed with modern avionics, Strike Eagles allow their crew great situational awareness. The active electronically scanned array, or AESA, radar, which can scan and track multiple targets beyond visual range. And the low altitude navigation and targeting infrared for night or lantern pod for terrain mapping, navigation, and laser targeting, the Strike Eagle always has eyes on the sky and the ground. The F 15E Strike Eagle continues the already incredible legacy of the F 15 and truly demonstrates the flexibility of the platform. From a pure air to air fighter to one of the most dominant air interdiction fighters ever built, the Eagle was well designed from the beginning. The Strike Eagle and the upcoming F 15 EX Eagle 2 will continue the Eagle's legacy of dominance and represent advanced air to ground capabilities for decades to come.